Summers are the hardest time for us. The afternoons go on forever. We sit out back nursing our drinks. We don't say much. These days it's like we can't talk to each other anymore. Don't have much to say. Oh, it's not like we'd argue, nothing like that. We still love each other. It's just that words don't come easy anymore. In the late afternoon as the air cools, I may water the plants, she may tend to her flowers, but often we'll both just sit here looking off into the distance. We rarely look directly at each other, although I may steal a glance at her from time to time. It's almost always the same. She's looking down the driveway toward the street. I look away again, but not because she'd catch me staring at her. She's too caught up in her own thoughts. I know what she's thinking, but there's nothing I can do except look away again and leave her to her thoughts. Summer nights never fall fast. We both just sit out there as the evening sky grows dark until the garden is all in shadow. Without a word, I'll rise and go inside knowing she will follow when she's ready. After coming in, she'll walk through to the hall and turn the front door light on. She always does. We may sit at the kitchen table for a while over a cup of tea, then go into the living room to read, her on the couch, me in the easy chair. She'll pick up the novel she's been trying to get through for a couple of months now, but after a while, she'll lay it back down on the cushion next to her. I'll try to find something of interest going through the mostly unread magazines piled up on the coffee table. Later, as we climb the stairs to our bedroom on the second floor, she'll put the light on at the landing where the steps continue up to the little bedroom opposite the attic door. Late at night, sometimes I wake to find her gone. I listen to the rhythmic sound the rocker makes on the creaking floorboards overhead, and I lie here awake. For her, time stopped that day so long ago, and though we ourselves are growing older, she remembers how it was, and in her memories, she chooses to remember how he looked that day, and in her mind, he'll stay forever young. I live a different hell than hers. As the years went by, I've seen him grow from child to youth to man, and then I've seen him bringing home a girl, they marry, and I see their children, our grandchildren, God, grandchildren. I can see them, God help me, I can hear their laughter, how they sound like he did then, back then. I can't help myself, I can't stop myself from dwelling on what might have been, what in my heart I know can never be. In time, she will come down, come back to bed. And I'll hold her in my arms while her whole body shakes and sobs as she weeps silent tears until she falls asleep again. And unable to get back to sleep myself, I'll hold her in my arms here in the dark along with all these broken dreams until the morning comes. Wow. Thank you.